What's up, everybody? My name is Lisa. I'm going to do a collective reading for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Love, Divine Love, Strength Connections. I'm going to do Divine Feminine on this side, Divine Masculine on this side, and the connecting energies in between. So I want you to know that this, there has been, like the wheel has spun um, for these connections, okay? You guys are working together on a different level. Even if you're not in communication with your twin, you both are um, working together. It's like um, in preparation for uh, you guys coming together, okay? You're actually doing things in your everyday life that are pushing you towards the long-term stability with your counterpart. Okay. I did a collective reading a couple days ago where I said like, there's been a change in, in the, like it was, it was changing. And last night I was like, that's it. That's the message that I got was that even if you're not together, both twins, both counterparts are, making moves in their life, making actual real moves to um, bring this connection together, whether you guys have spoken yet or not. So this is a serious time of trusting the process and continuing to do what's best for yourself. Because as you do that and, you, and you're not like just totally focused on what your twin's doing and when this is happening and all that kind of stuff, it's like, that is only deterring the, the, the union. Yeah, they're saying, remember the bridge. Okay, it's like crossing this bridge. Crossing the bridge. With no expectation. Trusting in the divine of that how this ends is exactly how it's supposed to end. I hope that makes sense. <sighs> you are my destiny. It's on the top here. All right. So divine feminine, divine masculine, connection in between. So let's see what they have to say today. All right. Give me one card for the divine feminine, please. One card for the divine feminine. Ooh, Jesus. Queen of Wands. Divine feminine, stay in this energy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling balanced. Okay, this one wants to be seen back here. Three of Cups. Having having a good time. Feeling balanced. Feeling secure. Looking good. Feeling good. You know, working out. Eating right. Knowing she doesn't have to chase anything. Okay? She can just sit there and look pretty. All right? But you're sitting there and looking pretty. Not not like... It's funny because um, the song that just came on, like, I shut it down before I, like, started meditating on the energy and stuff. Um was the Do Lipa song, uh, Sit Still and Look Pretty. And it, and that came up in one of the the monthlies I just did too. And I was like, hmm, so there's something with that song. It's like the Divine Feminine is really in like an emperor, like taking charge of their life. I feel like they're running businesses. They're, they're getting their shit together. Like they're stacking their money and um, just really can taking control over their lives. Because that Do Lipa song that um, Sit Still and Look Pretty, it's all about a very independent woman. And that's what I feel the Divine Feminines really are. They're, they're feeling very independent and um, abundant in many areas of their life, which is also adding to the way that they're feeling about themselves and, yeah, to their sexiness. That's what they said. They said, just say it, sexiness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, feeling passionate. I just... It just drew my attention to her holding on to that wand. So, yeah. And then there's, like, somebody wanting to make an offer. And she's just sitting there. Okay. Let's see. Wow. The moon has been a huge... Um, factor in this connection okay and look he's got the he's got the wand too so 
so you could have walked away. Yeah, here's this three of swords. For some of you, this is a third party. Yeah. Yeah, this has been taking a long time. I'm not taking these. This Eight of Cups is coming out again. Here's the work, like deciding whether or not they want to work on this. Um, all right, let's see. And Divine Feminines, you're just doing your thing. Stay in that energy, all right? Give me one card for the Divine Masculine. I mean, you could do whatever you want. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Just that's what I'm being guided to tell you. So one card for the Divine Masculine, please. I heard, I'm sorry, so sorry, <laughs> whatever that song is. He wants to communicate. He wants to reach out. He wants to talk. Um, he's 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 broken hearted right now. He he feels defeated. He definitely wants to talk, does not want to fight with the Divine Feminine anymore. But there's like this energy of guilt and shame. Yeah, look, there's a burden here. There's something, um, they drew my attention to this hood. So maybe there's something that's being covered up. Like something has to be revealed. All right, and this is what he's sitting here thinking, like, how am I going to express this? Keep doing what you're doing, Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine is doing what he has to do, too, okay? But but I don't, I don't feel like everything's going right in his life, okay? Something could have ended in his life or, I don't know, there's some sort of heartache attached to him here. I mean, it is a queen of swords. He could have just recently lost someone. Because the queen of swords does represent um, someone that, like that's been through a divorce or somebody that's lost their spouse. All right, give me one card for... But this person... Whatever they experienced or what it, it, they had to go through this because this was part of their lesson and their growth here. Okay. To, to, to help this masculine grow. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. The energy is just sort of kind of, it's almost like this divine masculine doesn't want to love anymore. Or they're contemplating, but the thing is, is that they love you. <laughs> so they're like, they're, they're saying to themselves, like, I think I could just sit here, you know, and not do anything. They're wondering, do I really, do I really want to do this? They do. They want to talk to you, but it's like, it's almost like it, it goes over and over in their head as well. Let's just see. They want to send you a message, all right? But there's um, it's almost like I just feel like like he this person has like no hope. They're just like, and then what? Like, I'm gonna tell her this, and and it's like this 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 masculine is just having no hope here, feeling stuck. All right, give me give me one card for the connection currently. The sun, okay? <laughs> it's a time of healing, okay? Things are going, going to be revealed. Yeah. And then there's the judgment, okay? That's the card of second chances. I just heard that's the card for the impossible. It's the resurrection, the healing. All right, let's see. What's underneath this? Yeah. 
see, I told you this Divine Masculine is really stuck. Some sort of con look, and here's the strength. And here's the Two of Cups. See, because I feel the fact that this Divine Masculine, like not making a move, this is adding to the burdens that they're already carrying here. It's past regret. All right, give me, give me one card for the Divine Feminine. Ooh. She's keeping an open mind. Okay, you guys could be very different from each other, which makes sense because they're twin flames, all right? Be playful. Flirtatious. I mean, that's who the Queen of Wands is. She is flirtatious and magical and beautiful and seductive, sexy. All right, give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Yeah, see, this guy, this guy has a very, he's been, he's, yeah, I'm hearing torn, that song, um, da -da -da, um, it's called by Nat Natalie Imbruglia or something like that, torn, it's called torn. This guy's not feeling very hopeful in regards to love. It's almost like, it's kind of being a little dramatic, all right? But look, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it's like, I feel like possibly this person has gone through a really bad breakup or something very tragic ha happened to them in regards to their heart. And they're just very resistant to, to do it again, okay, to open up to it again. And for right now, this Divine Masculine is finding comfort in, like, I'm not trying to, I'm, I mean, I have been there, Divine Masculine, with, their, this Divine Masculine is feeling sorry for themselves, okay? And I, I want to laugh because it's like, literally, that's what it is. <laughs> and like, they could easily change this. But they, it's almost like they're addicted to, because, because, you know, like when, um, you get, um, your endorphins, when you get depressed, you release endorphins into your brain as well. And you can get addicted to it. Okay. This, this divine masculine they're addicted to it. They're addicted to feeling sad. They're addicted to, um, because, because of not because they're like, Oh, I like to be sad. It's because of what happens when you're sad and the endorphins it, it or dopamine. It's something that it feels good in the same sense of, um, um, he's addicted to it. This divine masculine is addicted to like, like, reliving his all his mistakes and I'm a horrible person and move a muscle change a thought divine masculine okay you deserve more than this all right you haven't come this far to end up like this all right this was a lesson a perspective change needs to happen here and I feel like he's he's experienced some sort of shift here okay because he does want to send out a message he does want to say something. Let's see. Give me one card for the connection, please. Pay attention to the red flags and chemistry. All right. So there is a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Okay. And see how this unrequited love so possibly this divine masculine would prefer 
it to just stay like this hot and heavy thing, okay? I don't know. I'm sorry. What this divine masculine is cracking me up, all right? Like, they're just like being a brat. Like, that's literally what they're doing. Energy <laughs> is so funny. <laughs> They're like, mm, like that, like, mm. let's see what we got to get something else here. All right, let's get some of these. Because this my mask one's cracking me up. I'm going to, I'm going to find out what you can do. Divine masculine. Yeah. See divorce. This divine masculine is like, kind of like, it's gone through some sort of separation that, that scarred him. And, and, and it's like, I'll never love again, you know, like that. Or maybe he even feels like he doesn't deserve to ha be loved again. Or he feels like a failure because he went through a divorce. But it's like... That's not it at all, okay? A perspective change needs to happen here for this person here. Let me see. What is, what is, Jesus. You see that? I went flying. Oh my gosh. The three of wands. Look, you gotta look up. Look up Divine Masculine. Okay. And you'll see the light. Okay. It's like this divine feminine is shining her light to show you the way, revealing the way. And he's just like, mm, I'd rather stay here and be sad and think that my life will never be happy again. I just want to like hug on him and kiss him and he's so sad. He's very lonely, but a little bit stuck with how to get out of it, how to move forward. But He's going to, he's going to get over this. Okay. Cause this is the card of victory. But they could kind of be acting like, you know, like really cocky. Like that's how they act around you. If you see this divine masculine, if you do see them, like, I don't really feel like there's like too much con communication here, but, um, I feel like they just like they were they're a family person like and they just miss that whole experience you know like even if their life was like horrible with this person that they were got divorced from or that they used to live with they still like like a home unit unit like they like a house that's that has some noise in it you know what I mean Now they probably live by themselves or something, and it's hard. Look up and follow the light, Divine Masculine. Okay? The path is literally lighting up for you, will light up for you as you continue to take action that's towards like taking care of yourself, self nurturing. Yeah, create the life that you want. Yeah, see, perspective change. Told ya, it's the hanged man. All right, so that was good. All right, so let's see. Give me some advice here for this connection. 
Live life to the fullest. Exactly. Be in the now. Grieve your losses. The past belongs in the past. Let go of the guilt or whatever. It, it, it just is what it is. It's okay. I'm hearing another song. I never found you. Um, that's a Kane Brown song. I love Kane Brown. But um, uh, it's, I think it's off. I don't know. My son sings it. And that's, that's who I'm hearing sing it is my son. Um, and it's all about Kane Brown. He's singing, I would have never found you if I hadn't gone out to that party that I didn't even want to show up to. Cause, cause he had just ended it with somebody. All right. So it's like, it's time to let it go. Divine masculine. Because your, your divine feminine is like ready for you. I mean, and she's a queen of wands. So, you know, hot damn. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Tune out distractions. And the distractions are those voices in your head and things that help me because, you know, it's not like everybody hasn't been there and those like where you get stuck. I know I've been there. I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I have been there and it's, it's these things like move a muscle, change a thought. Okay. So what does that mean? It's like I get stuck in some repetitive thought or feeling, feeling sad. I can like, you know, when I'm really down in the dumps, I can like, I can get stuck on my couch and like, feel like I'm led and can't get up. And so it's like, I got to jump up I just jump up. <laughs> and then when I land, it's like my eyes will be catching something. It's like, plus I've got my adrenaline running again, you know, a dwarfin. So get, get, get hooked on a dwarfins in another way, you know, rather than this, because somebody's addicted to that. All right. You've, you've gotten addicted to this, um, depression. All right. But, um, yeah, it's the endorphins from, from running and stuff like that. You can, it's, you can have that same kind of reaction during depression. At least that's what I've heard before. Okay. And, um, I'm not a doctor, but, um, and it's coming up here. So I feel like that's what this person is doing here, but move a muscle, change a thought. And then there's these other things that I use, like look down at my feet. Why? Because it reminds me where I am. And where I am is all that matters. Where am I now? I'm right here with you guys, you know? So this moment is the only moment that matters in my life. And, and I just enjoy that moment, which is what this says. Live life to the fullest. Grieve your losses, all right? The best is yet to come. Say no. Like every time your voice go starts going off in your head, like tell that motherfucker to shut up. All right, divine masculine? Like you got this. You're the divine fucking masculine. Jeez, get off the freaking couch, do some freaking jumping jacks or push-ups or something. I don't know. I'm doing the um, fighter diet challenge. After I do this reading, I'm going to go do my thing for today. And then it's like completed my first week. And I already feel stronger. I've already seen a significant change in my body in one week. I've done several of these challenges and I'm telling you, I have, I was in the best shape of my life ever. And so I'm super excited, you know, do something like that. You know, just, just put all your energy. The more that you do good things for yourself, divine masculine, the more energy you're going to have. You don't even have to think about the process of being in this commitment with your divine feminine. All right. But you're going to want it. This is also what's going to help you heal. The more, um, kindness you show for yourself, you know, like take a bubble bath if you have a bathtub, you know, or do some sort of facial or something or salt scrub. Just do nice things for yourself. Go, go somewhere and get a freaking pedicure, manicure. Guys do that. Buy yourself clothes. I don't know. Whatever guys do. All right. I mean, these are some messages from your counterpart or things that you want to say to them. However, it comes out. Let's see. Play a play a play from the Himalayas. See, this is, this is also a lifestyle that's being grieved right here and being contemplated 
whether or not they even want to release it, you know. But you can't stop watching your divine feminine. That's the problem, right? You like having all of these choices and options, indulgences. That's what I heard. But you can't get your divine feminine out of your head. I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out. Oh my God. Just keep working on yourself, Divine Masculine. Okay? Keep being kind to yourself. Try not to act out because I feel like I feel like this Divine Masculine, as much as he likes to play around with whatever, okay, and whoever, every time he does, he feels guilty about it because his heart belongs to his divine feminine. So the more that you do good things for yourself, like when you start to get that scratch, like you need a fix of attention, put the, give yourself the attention. Okay. This is what I had to do. Okay. And I used to freaking be like, I used to like have like, I could text like 10, 20 men at one time. Okay. This is years ago. I don't act like that anymore. All right. But I mean, this is a real thing. It's a real, like, addiction. This is a real problem, okay? But I don't want to live like that anymore, you know? It's like... And so when you feel like you need attention and so you seek it from places where, in the end, you feel remorseful, do something nurturing for yourself instead. Just try it. Try it once and see if it makes you feel better. Go for a run. I watch you on social media. Yeah, because you cannot stop thinking about your divine feminine. That's why you feel guilty. And then it just like plays into this feeling sorry for yourself even more. All right. The divine masculine has like completely overtaken this reading here. All right. And it's, and it's all good. It's all good, babe. I want to talk to you. All of us want to talk to you. Your rejection would destroy me. It's, it's not going to happen. I, I just heard it's not going to happen. This divine masculine, you're being so negative. Listen, I've given you a lot of tools here. Tools that I have used from my own experience and I know that they work. So try it. And hit me up after you use them and you feel better. All right? Please don't let me go. Listen. The Divine Feminine is over here in her power doing her thing. All right? She is on a mission. But just because it seems like she's not thinking of you, Divine Masculine, just know that she is. Okay? Okay? But she also knows her worth. And she deserves more than somebody that's going to be playing around with like, like this. Because some of you are, are like this, you know. But just like you being drawn to other people and knowing that your heart only, yeah, see, I'm jealous. Sex addiction. Oh, okay. Listen, you guys, divine masculine, I'm telling you, try the things that I said. All right. Because I'm no different. You know, your divine feminine is no different. We are the same. Okay. We're connected. Like, like this is something, it's it's not going to be easy. It takes effort. It's going to take work and effort. And the last thing that you should be doing is telling yourself that you're worthless or that you don't deserve your, fem your divine feminine, okay? Because every action that you take towards self-care and loving yourself, even if you take a step back, backwards, all right? Two steps forward, one step back is still moving forward, right? You're the divine masculine. Remember, 
I wasn't ready for you then, but I'm working on it now. Good. I'm going to make it up to you. The way we met was unreal. So some of you have quite the story. I'm working on myself. The last time we were together. Okay, so something happened and all because of you. See, this, this, your person, you changed your person. You triggered a change in your person that they just can't shake. Okay, even if parts of them like really want to just like forget about it, but they can't. All right. This is also why they're in this. Listen, divine masculine, you got this dude. You're the divine masculine for a reason. Okay. Trust the process as well. Your divine feminine has not forgotten about you. This is a time of healing and this is a time for shining. I'm here shine bright like a diamond. All right. This is a really beautiful reading, okay? Don't give up on yourself, Divine Masculine. Embrace your power. I'm, I'm freaking out. Dude. That was that was beautiful. You, Divine Masculine, if you need a freaking reading, reach out. All my information is in the description box, okay? I love you guys. There's like no judgment, all right? And your Divine Feminine doesn't judge you either. And if your Divine Feminine gives you judgment, it's like, this is not your reading, all right? This is not like... This is not for this, those divine feminines. These divine feminines, these divine feminines are well aware of their own issues as well as like being open to discuss yours as well. Like they don't have any judgment towards you. They just want things to be different. Go get your life, man. Embrace your power. Keep your commitments. Remember who you are. You're here for a reason. All right, there you go. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. If anyone's interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. I love you so much. Bye.